Um, <clears throat> we lost one of the greatest voices in Ireland, uh, Ronnie Drew. He died of throat cancer. Now, he was the, the greatest, he was the lead singer of the Dubliners, and he had this wonderful bass, <clears throat> rasping voice. And uh, he, I mean, there's, they've written all lots of songs about him. He was a wonderful fellow with a big beard. You know, the Dubliners are wild. Uh, Irish <laughs> and he, he died in the last um, since last St. Patrick's anyway. So this is a little kind of little kind of tribute to him. Of all the money ever I had, I spent it in good company. And of all the harm I ever done, alas, it was to none but me. And all I've done, for a want of wit, to memory now I can't recall. So fill to me the parting glass, good night and joy be with you all. Oh, if I had comrades enough to spend, and leisure time to sit a while, there is a fair maid in this town, that surely has my heart beguiled. Her rosy cheeks and ruby lips, I own she has my heart enthralled. So fill to me the parting glass, good night and joy be with you all. It had begun to snow again. He watched sleepily the flakes silver and dark, falling obliquely against the lamplight. The time had come for him to set out on his journey westward. Yes, the newspapers were right. Snow was general all over Ireland. It was falling on every part of the dark central plain, on the treeless hills, falling softly upon the bog of Allen, and farther westward, softly falling into the dark, mutinous Shannon waves. It was falling, too, on the lonely churchyard on the hill, where Michael Fury lay buried. It lay thickly drifted on the crooked crosses and headstones, on the spears of the little gate, on the barren thorns. His soul swooned slowly as he heard the snow falling faintly across the universe, and faintly falling under his scent of their last end, upon all the living and the dead. <laughs>